Well, hello everyone. Cheers. So today we're doing a get ready with me in Florida. So this trip was actually supposed to happen a while ago and it just kept getting postponed. And um, it was actually supposed to be with other people. I think it was supposed to be Tyler's family. We were trying to remember. It was so long ago. We don't even really remember why the trip is booked. But anyway, we kept pushing it back on Airbnb. And luckily the, the hosts of this Airbnb were like really nice and let us just keep pushing it back. <laughs> anyway, so here we are. We finally came, but it's just us. And it's been honestly a really lovely trip. So that's the story on that. So if you've been curious where we're staying, because of course I've been posting on my Instagram about it. Uh, we're staying on the panhandle of Florida, which is like, if you think about the shape, I'll put a picture of the shape of Florida on the screen in case you need the reference. It is the top little handle of it. Like as if it were a pan, that's the handle. So this area of Florida is actually a place that I came to growing up. Tyler came to growing up. Basically everyone that lives in Indiana, <laughs> this is the beach they would go to. It's about an 11 hour drive, give or take, which is crazy because we really thought this was farther. We thought it was going to be like 14, 15 hours and we did drive. Um, but yeah, 11 hours. I was like, that's really not, not bad. We, of course, traveling with a 10 month old and a four year old split it into two days. So we ended up staying at a hotel in between just cause I mean, we could force it and do it, but it would not be pretty. It just wasn't worth it. So we stopped halfway through, which worked out really well, but the city we're staying in is called Destin, Florida. I grew up going to Pensacola. Tyler grew up going to Destin and then, or well, the area I should say, but other cities nearby are like um, Panama City Beach is not far, Fort Walton Beach, that area. But one of the things we did, one of our goals on this trip was obviously to enjoy some beach time, which we definitely have. Today is our last day here. So we're kind of at the point where we're like, we, it's a little bit chillier today. It's super windy. The waves are, cry, like I'm staring at the ocean right now. I'll definitely, I'll throw some B-roll over this. So you can see it. The waves are crazy today. It's really pretty to look at. Not as fun to be out there because it's so, so windy. So I don't think we're gonna get any more beach time this trip. Yeah, it's just been fun having that time, but we also wanted to make sure we got out and did other things, especially since this is not like the warmest time of year to be here. The high has been in like the mid to upper 70s Fahrenheit, which I mean, it's not the warmest thing, but we've, like I said, we've done beach time and it was still warm enough, like it felt fine. So we've done just other things. We both felt like when we grew up and came here, it really was just beach time. Like we didn't get out and do a ton of other stuff. So it's been fun kind of exploring what else is out there. And side note, I'm gonna be using this as my mirror for the most part today. I have like a tiny other mirror. I didn't bring my travel mirror and I really regret that. <laughs> Cause I've been like enjoying, if it weren't so windy, I'd be filming this on the, our little balcony here. But it, it's like I said, just way too windy and honestly kind of straight up chilly. <laughs> yeah, so we've gone, we went to an aquarium. We went to um, some cute little like shopping areas. There's a Disney outlet store. So we <laughs> popped over to that. We saw some people we knew, um, one of Tyler's travel agents who is just lovely. She has a YouTube channel too, I will link below. Kayla, she does like Disney vlogs and stuff like that. She's got a little sweet little kiddo. So that was cool. We went to dinner with them last night and um, got some shrimp or shrimp. I keep saying that. Got some sushi. I mean, there was shrimp in the sushi I got, but, um, and that was really good. Um, and got to meet her lovely husband too. Anyway, so that was nice. What else did we do? Oh, our favorite thing we did so far is we went to a town called Seaside, Florida, which is actually the town that the Truman Show, the movie with Jim Carrey, where he's like, doesn't know he's being filmed his entire life is basically a show and they've created this whole fictional town that he lives in and he doesn't know it. What a smart idea for a movie. Anyway, we uh, went to that town where it was based on and it's also, it was based on it and filmed in it, which is so, so cool. So a lot of the things, like you can go take a picture in front of the house that was his house, you know? It, it was really neat. But not only that, like that's just like a fun side thing. The town itself, ooh, when your makeup sponge lands on the Airbnb floor and you're like, ah, that might be the end of that. Yeah, so the town itself is really cool because it's just one of those towns that's very, very walkable. It is such a quintessential, I'll put some B-roll over this too. I'll have to get some from Tyler. It's just such a quintessential like beach town. It feels more vintage and I can't explain it other than that. It was just really clean. It was friendly. It was beautiful. There were lots of cute little like cafes and restaurants. There was a bookstore, a toy store, all kinds of other stores. Um, we had so much fun. We got breakfast there. We got some coffee there. 
Um, there's like a cute little plaza where the girls just ran, Gigi ran around, Felicity just crawled around. Like it was truly the highlight, I think for both of us of the trip. Like it was just so cute. So it, as it turns out, we actually learned from Kayla that town was one she recommended, but there's so many other towns like right within there. There's one called Watercolor that's like five minutes down the road that also has a bunch of cute restaurants and stuff. And there's a few more along there. So we were like, okay, next time we come to the Panhandle of Florida, if we do, we are gonna stay in that area because it is so cute and we had no idea it existed. So that was about 45 minute drive time from where we're staying to there. That was amazing. By the way, I'll link anything I'm using below. You're basically getting a, a glimpse into my um, little travel makeup bag. So first of all, this is the makeup bag I've been using when we've traveled. It's the kind that flays completely open. Flay, is that? Anyway, uh, lays completely open, but then you zip it and it's like a little, here, I'll show you it zipped. It becomes more like a little square and there's a little handle. And I have seen these ads all over the place and I finally bought it a couple months ago. Yeah, see, isn't that cool? But it's just so nice because a lot of makeup bags I have, they don't lay open like this. So it's hard to see what's in there. And this way you can like really totally see what's in there. And there's a little bit of organization. So I'll link this below. I got the black one, but I got it kind of wish I'd gotten, they have like a quilted version, not quilted, almost like weaved. It looks really cute and they have a couple colors of that. And so I'm like, okay, if I, if I get another one, I'm totally gonna get one of those. So I'll link it below, it was Amazon. It was not very expensive at all. Oh, so anyway, the things I've used so far, the Lawless um, Overnight Mask for the lips. This is the SPF I've been using on my face this time. This is the Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. I finally bought it because it's finally available on Target. This particular product was only available on Naturium's website. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm <laughs> just not gonna do it. So all of a sudden it was available on Target. And so I added to cart, bought it, and it got here just in time for me to take it with me on the trip, which is always a gamble, but it's been great. It's SPF 50, totally invisible. I mean, you saw me applying it to the skin. It totally blends in. And that was kind of the thing. It says it's supposed to apply invisibly on all skin tones. So anyway. It's been great, I've been loving it. It definitely, it doesn't look like, I guess it does look a little bit dewy, but it's not like, I thought it'd be like glowy, like almost shimmery or like have that like iridescent quality. It doesn't have any of that. It really is more like the moisture level on your skin looks dewier, if that makes sense. So just something to be aware of with that, but I'm really enjoying it. And why do I just like this packaging? It reminds me of like the brand Carez. It looks like their packaging. Anyway, the foundation I use is the NYX Born to Glow, which I've heard this is being discontinued. Does anyone know if that's true? I really hope not, but I, I love this. I wear the shade Porcelain. And I've got some self tanner on, so the, it's starting to wear off, so it matches somewhat, but I've definitely been using a lot of bronzer to kind of make things look a little more even, you know? Yeah, this trip has been one that was kind of a, I had like an emotional night the other night because how do I explain this? I just feel like we're kind of at this point in our lives where it's kind of momentous is not the word. A turning point? And I've kind of hinted at this a bit in previous chatty videos, but I just feel like we're kind of at this point in our lives where we really are like moving on to the next section. And I, I don't really know how else to explain that. So I had the weirdest, coolest moment the other day. I was taking like a lone evening beach walk. It was so nice. Tyler, well, I think Felicity might've been asleep, but Tyler let me have just some time to myself and it was so nice. So I walked along the beach at sunset. It was ridiculous. I, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. So it was the craziest thing. As I'm walking, I see this heron and I'll put up a little, I posted on Instagram, I can put it here. And it was just there. And herons, like we have one that kind of like lingers around our backyard in that little water area. To me, it's not so wild to see it. Although I swear to you, I never saw a heron in real life until I was an adult, probably living at this house. But anyway, so I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so cool against the sunset. Like there's this dark body of a really tall bird, just alone, standing in the waves with the sunset behind it. It was ridiculous. So I'm like, this is so cool. So I get some footage and I'm just like, wow. And then as I'm walking, it literally starts walking with me. And I'm thinking it's gonna like fly away. The second I get anywhere near it as I'm kind of walk, continuing my walk, no, it just, I swear to you, walked with me. It was the weirdest thing. And so I'm like, okay. And so I'm starting to get emotional because I'm like, this is a sign of something. Like, this is a sign. So eventually, you know, I move on. I just keep walking. And I'm like, bye, Heron. <laughs> Heron, buddy. So I walk as far as I feel like it. And it's starting to get darker. So I'm like, all right, I should head back. So I turn around and keep walking. And all of a sudden, 
where our building is. And I'd walked away and where I saw the heron was like multiple hotels down the beach, you know, which can be kind of far. So all of a sudden I get back to our Airbnb's like unit thing. And there it is just in the water. And it was exactly centered on our building, which is like where I would walk up to go back. And I had already planned to like sit on the beach for a few minutes there and then walk up. And so I ended up sitting and he was just right there. And I'm like, this is the craziest thing. And I'm someone that does believe in signs. Like I really do think God leaves us little nuggets here and there. That's just my own thing. And so then I start looking up like, okay, what does this mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and so I guess a heron can kind of stand for like standing on your own two feet and self-reliance and kind of learning to be your own person to a certain extent. I'm sure I'm butchering it, but basically that's kind of what I glean from it. And so then I get even more emotional naturally. <laughs> But it was just, like I said, I just feel like we're in this point in our lives. And so to see something like that and for, in theory, that to be the meaning just felt really cool. So it was just a really nice evening moment. I got back and walked in the <laughs> door. Tyler was like, <laughs> what was the thing I said to you when I walked in after crying about the hair and, and all that? First thing I said was, it has been so cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, that was a cathartic experience. And he was like, I can tell <laughs> anyway. So it was just, it was really lovely. Like going to Seaside and that evening walk was definitely for me like the highlight of the trip. Do you ever, especially if you're like older than me or maybe you experience this, do you feel like you hit a point in your life like of adulthood where you're like, okay, I actually kind of feel like a full on adult. And like, it, it's a good feeling, not in like a scary way, not in a, but just in a really good way. I don't know. Cause I feel like what comes with that is a lot more confidence and certainty in a lot of things. I don't know. It was really neat. I used the elf wow brow on my brows and then this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk quad that I love. Oh, so much. You can see a little bit of the beach there. <laughs> I love this stuff. I forgot about this quad. This was like a most used thing for me for like what years, right? And I dug it out of my drawer and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally bringing that. And I just used these two shades here. This kind of shimmer all over and then this in the crease. So we also went to this place called Village of Baytown Wharf that I also never heard of. And it was so cool because it's like this area that's a part of like a time, I mean, there's so many timeshares around here, of course, but I can't explain it. It was like, was it Hilton Grand Vacations or something? It was within this whole area and there was like a guard that we were like, are we going to the right place? He's like, yeah, if you're going there, you just go here and park there, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. Basically was this whole area that reminded me so much of downtown Disney or Disney Springs because there were all kinds of restaurants. It was all like, once you park, you're in there and you're just walking all around. Um, there was like a water area in the middle. There were like games, there was an arcade. There were so many shops and ice cream places and like, Every, there was even like a little carousel. There were lights everywhere. There's live music going from multiple areas. It was truly just like Disney Springs, just smaller and different, you know? It was so much fun. We're here like in the off season. So it's basically no one <laughs> around. Like even at the beach, again, I told you it's not the hottest time of year, which is a part of why it's the off season, but also of course, most people are in school. So spring breaks for I think colleges will happen first and those are starting very soon. Like we're right on the tip. So we haven't waited in line or anything anywhere, but I know a lot of these places, especially like Seaside, the waitress at the breakfast place we were at there was like, oh my gosh, in like a week and a half, it's gonna be crazy. Kayla and her husband were saying the same thing. Like they were like, we lived down here and we just, like stay in our house during spring break because it's just a madhouse absolutely everywhere. I can't even imagine that. Oh, so everything there in Baytown Wharf was like pretty much dead and a lot of things had already closed. So we were like, well, we were gonna eat dinner there. We kind of looked around and it was a little more like raucous. A lot of the places were clearly just like adults and it was getting, you know, it was dark. I, it was probably only like 6.30 or seven. But anyway, regardless, we were like not super hungry. So we were like, we'll just go home and eat. We got groceries here at this Airbnb, of course. So. We ended up eating at home, but we did enjoy some of the shops and we went in the arcade and Genevieve had so much fun. She's just at the age where arcades are so fun and it'll only get more fun as she gets a little bit older, of course, but that was a fun thing to do. We did the little carousel and yeah, it's just, that was a cute little area. We probably, if we came during the day when more things were open, we definitely could have spent more time there. So if you're ever in this area, I'm curious how many of you guys, you know, I'm talking about all this. How many of you guys have been to the Florida Panhandle? 
I, I should do a poll because, I mean, obviously we all live in different parts of not just the, this country that I live in, but the world. Um, but like, especially if you do live in America, like, do you, if you're from the Midwest, did, is this the area a lot of you guys went for like spring break and summer vacation? Cause like I said, Tyler and I did not know each other growing up. We separately always went to this same area and like everyone I do, we kind of were talking about felt like there were two kinds of families. There were families that came to the Florida Panhandle and there were families that went to like Myrtle Beach and stuff over on the Atlantic Ocean and or like Hilton Head. So it's just kind of funny. Like we never went to the Atlantic coast. I always wanted to though, cause my best friend growing up um, always went to Myrtle Beach and I was always like, what is it like? I'm sure it was very similar to this. Just same, same, but different, you know? Um, okay, this is officially my favorite. This is the Sephora 12 hour colorful eyeliner. I have it in tiramisu number 13. So it's like a dark brown. You know how I love the Makeup by Mario one? Well, this is half the price and it does not transfer just like that. It doesn't transfer at all. Like I never, I'm saying that now I'm gonna like need to. I typically never need to like wipe it up. Like it just stays. So if you are looking for one, I should just buy like 10. So I'm set for a while because I don't know. Regardless, this is amazing. There's a bunch of different colors, but this one's waterproof and it is waterproof. I just, I love it. But it also like kind of blends well if you like to do a little bit of uh, smudging. This was also fun because Felicity, she's almost 11 months while I'm filming this, like literally within a few days. And we were wanting to do like a big, I mean, this was a road trip nonetheless. Like we drove 11 hours is, is still a long time to drive, especially with young kids. And it was kind of like a test for like, we wanted to do a road trip, not far, far out west, but out west enough to go just see stuff we've never seen. And we were wanting to do that this summer. But after doing this, we kind of realized like, okay, I think she's just a little bit too young. Like we could do it, but it's so much easier when they're a little bit older. Like Genevieve's at a good age because we can explain what we're doing and she can understand why we're in the car for such a long time. But you can't explain to a nearly one year old or even at that point, a little bit over one, you can't explain to them and reason with them why we're in the car. It's just miserable for them. So we are gonna wait on that trip, maybe a couple years. And hopefully when they're both a little older, it'll be really enjoyable um, to do that kind of thing. Cause we wanna go to like the Dakotas and those areas that we've just never been. So we are already thinking of a replacement trip for that though. And that might happen, but we'll see there. We got ideas swimming in our mind of what we might do that's Again, fun, but different, and we'll just see if it actually happens. We're trying not to, we're wanting to make our plans, but it's, I don't know, it's hard when you have young kids because it's like things can change in a moment's notice, and every few months, Felicity is so different than she was a few months before, so it, it can be kind of hard to plan for trips, but this one worked out really well because she has just so enjoyed playing on the sand. I thought for sure we'd get down there and she's gonna instantly grab a thing of sand and just try to eat it. And we'd be constantly battling that. And yeah, she certainly ate her fair share of sand, but that was more just because it was on her hands and then she'd like touch her mouth. But beyond that, like she just genuinely liked being out there. She was always all smiles, even when she was tired and it was getting close to nap time. Like she loved playing with the beach toys and banging them together. And of course she'd try to put everything in her mouth, but it ended up being more enjoyable than I thought it would be with her. And that was really exciting. And Genevieve's now at an age too, where she had originally, like even the last Disney cruise we went on was what, in the fall? And even then we were on Castaway Key with our friends and she was just like freaked out by sand between her toes and like all these different things. And now that girl did not care. And it was so exciting to see her just like, she's totally grown out of that. She was loving, having the waves kind of chase her on the shore and all of that stuff. She wasn't scared of that. And it was so much more, like I said, enjoyable than I thought it would be. Cause again, I'm thinking back to Castaway Key and her being freaked out by sand. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. But it ended up just being so much fun. I'm actually kind of sad it's too cold to go on the beach because I was hoping for one more bit of beach time. That's the other thing, you know, we don't do a lot of beach vacations, I feel like. We might try to do one more type beachy thing later this year. But we, we always joke that we're just not beachy people. Like we just don't enjoy, I don't know, we're just not. But this is making me enjoy it even more because it's fun to do it with kids when they're enjoying it. So I think I can, I'm starting to see why like 
parents love to take kids to the beach because it's, you know, maybe not as relaxing as you want as a parent, but the kids just have so much fun. It's so wildly different than their day-to-day -day life, which is also just cool. I've got a stack of things that I'm holding this mirror on. I'm like, okay, where are the products that I need? I also used this for my brushes. I've used this for a few trips. My thing is I don't bring a lot of brushes so it works really well. Like I'm able to fit all of the brushes that I brought in here and it still shuts, but I have to be picky about the brushes I bring. You know what I mean? So I wish they would, cause I love the idea of it. I wish that they would make this um, just like double the size. <laughs> Just a little bit, because I remember there were a couple sizes and this was like the largest they made and it was like a little bit longer, but I wish it was like this much bigger because then I could fit just a couple more brushes that, you know, I'm using ones to multitask, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of amazed that this is the biggest they make because I'm like plenty of people use, I mean, there's like, I have a powder brush that would fill this entire thing, you know what I mean? So, but I've used it for a few trips, it's okay, but like I said, it's, I'm kind of holding out hope that they'll make a bigger one. This feels so oily there. I said in the car the other day, I was like, oh, I should have powdered my nose. Like, look how oily it looks. And he was like, is that a thing you do? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, powder your nose? I'm like, yeah. And he was like, like what they used to say, like in the fifties, like I'm gonna go powder my nose. I'm like, oh, I did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I guess I didn't really think about that. But yeah, it's. The, I guess that is exactly what I'm doing, but I never really made that connection. <laughs> so I've been trying out this new Tower 28. It's their Sculptino bronzer so it's more it's meant to be i think is it technically matte okay so it's their sculpting soft contour cream that's what it is i like this a lot more i i tried their bronzino and i like it but it's just shimmery and i don't always want that so when i got this i think they sent it in pr or did it come in a sephora order i'm trying to remember i'd place this for order like just before i left so some of that i brought but i'm pretty sure this is pr either way i use it with my haley's beauty brush and like I said, I've been trying to get it to kind of match self tanner I had on. So also I have to say my favorite soft tanner, self tanner is the um, express one from, I think it's Saint Tropez. It's like in a blue bottle. I always buy when it's on sale. I just think it looks the most natural and nice and it's never really orange, but it lasts a while. Like it's, it's one of those for me that's been foolproof for years. I had had a one for a while and I don't self tan all the time, but like when I'm we're on trips, especially like if it's a warm destination, I typically will bring it and I'll self tan while I'm there, whatever. Well, I'd had one that was kind of old and I used it on whatever last trip I would have used it on. And like I, my poor hair, oh my gosh, you guys. It was so streaky and weird and I realized it's old. I was like, it's so old. Like it's been sitting there. I've been using it off and on for a few years. So I finally bought a fresh one for this trip and wow, the difference. So if you're using old self tanner and you're feeling like it's not looking the way it used to, you might not be crazy. It might just be that it is old. Like, I don't know what I have. I should probably look at the expiration dates on that. It was totally different than I had remembered it. So I'm glad I like tried a new one and realized like, okay, yeah, it was just super old. Yeah, I feel like this blends in really, really nicely. It works pretty well for my skin, but again, it's warming me up, which is, that's the goal here, baby. I never, <laughs> I never buy like self tanner shades of foundation like ever. I just bring lots of bronzer and just try to make it work. I'm someone that I feel like my face looks weird when it's a different color. Like when I put on a darker foundation, even if it would match like my self tanned body, it looks odd to me and I can't explain it. You know, you're just used to seeing your face a certain way and when you see it different, it looks odd, right? Like it's almost unsettling. And so that's why I'm like, I'd rather just bronze it up and make it look like it works than have the entire canvas. <laughs> Isn't that, I'm just, I don't know. I'm weird like that. I tried twice on this trip to actually style my hair with my, um, you know, my shark uh, thing. That's the Dyson dupe that I love. Mm -mm. I spent, you know, 25 minutes doing it two different times. And literally within minutes, I would step out of the bathroom and it would just be like, Phew. and I'm like, why did I even bother? So I've put that away. I'm not using it this trip. I will use it again back home, but it's just not worth it. But I have to say it's a blow dryer too. And that blow dryer, A, it's, it folds to be straight. And that was amazing for packing. It took up no room in my um, suitcase. And now I have a really high powered hair dryer that dries it really quickly. And that was exciting. I don't usually travel with a hair dryer. I usually just would use whatever's there or let it air dry, but I mean, if that's my styling tool too, it's kind of nice that you also have a blow dryer. Anyway, so today we're hoping for our last day, we need to like pack. Listen, I cleaned up behind me. What you're not seeing is the, 
There's all of our beach stuff and our like beach bag. We, it, I mean, there's things just strategically hidden. We did um, use a rental service. This particular one, if you're like in this area, is called Coastal Crib Rental. There's a lot of different ones, but this one, I don't know if they like work with this Airbnb owner, I don't know, but they brought the stuff we rented, which was a crib, a high chair, and like a little extra, not exercise, but like a little play area that Felicity can kind of be in, you know, like we have at home, which that is clutch because she crawls around as much, but her poor little knees this is all hard floor. It's a lot for her knees. So <laughs> for her sweet old knees, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so it's nice to have another thing she can do where she doesn't have to be like crawling around. Anyways, what's my point in this story here? Oh, this company dropped it off in the unit. Like the Airbnb person let them come in here and drop it off before we even got here. So it was already ready to go. And then when we leave tomorrow, they're gonna, we can just leave the stuff in the unit and they'll be let in and be able to get it once we're gone. I'm like, that is so nice to not have to like arrange that pick up and drop off. They just kind of take care of it. That was, that was a first because we've used quite a few different rental places over the years and that, that was really nice. I'm using the um, Huda Beauty Glowish Cheeky Blush Powder in Healthy Peach. I like this. It's, this is like the small trial size. I like it. I just, obviously I always end up wanting a bigger pan, but it does look nice. I don't think it's like worth the higher price point. There's nothing really that special about it, but I do think it's pretty. So I brought it to use it because I felt like I really hadn't used it. Yeah, I feel like that looks nice. So today, our last day, like I said, we've got some packing to do. We're working on some laundry and the washer and dryer here. And then we're going, honestly, just down the street to where there is like this, I think it's called Harbor Walk Village. It's just like a little area with some shops and restaurants. There's a lot of those kind of boardwalky type areas, which is just fun. So maybe grab some lunch out because Tyler got us donuts this morning from the donut hole and they are very good. And if you ever go there, get the sour cream donut because it was 10 out of 10, so good. If you like like a cakey donut that's glazed, oh baby. Anyway, so we're hoping to maybe grab like a late lunch out there and then not have to worry about dinner because then we, it'd be nice to just kind of be in for the night. We're able to pack, relax. We've got some games we never really got around to playing, so it'd be nice to, <laughs> to do that, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Concealer. This is that loose one in Bisque. I don't think I've actually opened this to put some in here in like a month and I've been using it like every day because you do it like once and like, that's the amount I'll use all month. So then I'll just shut it. And then I, do you know what I'm saying? Like it's, this stuff would last forever. It'll last forever if you let it. I love it because it sets the under eye, but it also adds some coverage, you know? I mean, like look at the difference with it and without it. I just love it. I have it in the shade Bisque if you were curious. Or is it Bisque or Light Bisque? Yeah, just Bisque. Light Bisque is even lighter. Like if you wanted more of like a brightening effect if you're near my skin tone. This is like one of my favorite products ever ever, ever. Side note, I'm trying to think of when this is going live. I think the sale would still be going on. Dermstore.com is having a sale. And I know that Bare Minerals is a part of it. It's like 20% off of like so many of my skincare favorites. I was posting about it on Instagram too. Um, I can link the sale below. If you use that link, it does. I do get commission from it. I feel like I should say that because I don't know. I've been talking about it a lot lately, but I never, I'm continuing to say, I just don't ever want anyone to feel like I'm pulling the wool over your eyes with something like that. Any link I have below is probably an affiliate link or whatever. It's a really good sale. It's a really good sale, you guys. I shop it every year. It's called their like beauty refresh sale. They've got so many high-end skincare products. Some of my absolute favorites are on there. Um, a lot of makeup products. Tarte is 20% off on there. So it's one of those like Sephora sale and Ulta sale. Those I love too, but these are some of those brands, but then other brands that I feel like are never on sale are on Derm store. So definitely worth checking out the sale. It's probably by the time you're seeing this only going on another day or two. So if you're wanting to shop it, definitely shop it soon. So I brought, I'm so mad at myself. I brought this highlighter cause I love it. The rare beauty one that everyone's talking about. People either love or hate. I love because it gives that like ridiculous glow but I didn't bring a brush to apply it. So I've been trying to do it with my finger and it is not the same. It really is like you need a, maybe I'll just try it with this. Let me see if I can get enough of the eyeshadow off. You need like an eyeshadow sized brush and you get, you don't need a lot and it's just so pretty. Yeah, I feel like it's such a like beachy look, you know? Oh my gosh. But yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Like it's a lot. <laughs> I always wanna blow on it too, and it's not, it's like a cream to powder. I feel like this side is now way more, there we go. 
So I feel like I haven't worn a ton of lip products while we've been here just because of the nature of things, you know, but I brought a couple. I brought, if I wanted to wear a red lip, um, the NARS Dragon Girl Power Matte. You guys know this is like my number one red lip. If I'm wearing a red lip, this is it but I haven't worn it because it's been too windy and like, I'm like, my hair's just gonna blow in my mouth and then there's gonna be red lipstick everywhere. And I also brought this, the NYX This Is Juice Gloss in Pomegranate Clout. It's so pretty. It's just, oh my gosh, and it smells like sweet tarts, like exactly. Oh, it smells so good. But it's such a juicy and I love this red because it's just different. Like it looks like red, but I'm not worried about it and it's comfortable, but it still has that like fun pop. I feel like for spring and especially summer, this is probably gonna be a favorite of mine cause it just, it's like starting to sink in and it, it's just really pretty. So love this. And this is really nice if you've worn some kind of like reddish lip and it's starting to wear off, but you don't, you don't have like a mirror to reapply. Putting this on top kind of like mixes it all together and it adds a little bit of that like pop of red that you probably already had. It just looks really nice. That's what I did the other day. Cause I was trying out a different it wasn't a red red, it was slightly different, but I put this on at intermission of the show and it looked so pretty, so pretty. But I also brought um, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude and the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine, which is like a darker nude. And then this bad boy I haven't used in so long, the Dose of Colors Just My Type Lip Gloss. I'm assuming they still make these. This is one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. It's so like creamy and just, mm. It's, it's truly up there. But um, let me take you on a little tour of the rest of my makeup bag so that you can kind of see all of the other things that I didn't use that I did bring, because I, I just think that's fun. All right, so showing you a quick tour. I put everything back in it, but um, some of this you, you just saw me use. But one thing I didn't use today, but I've been liking is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Um, this you saw me try in a recent video, and I'm just enjoying it. Um, however, I've realized like, if I'm putting both of these together, it's a lot, the Dew Glow and this. Um, again, this Dew Glow, SPF is not glowy like this. They're different, but it's just together. It's a little too much. So, but I am enjoying this for like a nice shimmer. I also brought the Smashbox Becca corrector for like those quick days. I honestly didn't end up using that at all. I brought the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. I ended up reaching for these kind of equally, but I love the Catrice True Skin, which is what I use today, um, which again, you can get on Amazon. Nisha, I'm gonna skip things I already talked about. I also brought the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush in the shade La Piscine, which I love. But again, this one's a little bit light. And because I've been bronzing up a lot, this was almost too light. So I, I kind of wish I'd brought the other shade of this that I love, which I am blanking on the name. Oh, Provence is the other one I wish I would have brought. And then I also brought the Milani Cheek Kiss. I've used this a couple times. It's one of those liquid blush highlighters where it's really more of like a blush topper but it's really, really pretty. So I've just been tapping that all over the cheeks when I do use it. Let me wipe that up, very messy packaging. Got my little NARS sharpener, you've already seen that stuff. Oh, I brought the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush Single Shadow, I still love. I've worn that, I think, once on this trip. And this I used a couple times, the Stila Glitter and Glow in Wanderlust. This is that one I like to tap on top of shadow because it just gives the most ridiculous glow. It's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. Stila's on the Derm Store sale as well. And I know they had some shades of this on there for like the 20% off. I don't think this one was though, but they're all kind of similar, honestly. Uh, Tower 28 mascara is what I used today, but I also did bring the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I didn't end up using it because I was too terrified that I would poke my eyes. So the Revolution Brow Glue, this is starting to look really gross, but this is um, what I use to kind of keep my brows in place, but honestly, I didn't use it this trip. The liquid liner I brought is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I really like that. I did end up bringing my Makeup by Mario brown liner, but I never used it, because I used the Sephora one the entire time. <laughs> I accidentally brought two Elf Wow brows and you already saw that. And then I brought the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer and Sunlight. I've used honestly probably half of the trip. I really, really enjoyed this as a powder bronzer. I brought the M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. Um, oh, which one's this one? In Rodan, Rodan, Rodan. <laughs> I never say it right, love that. Bare Minerals Bear Pro, you already saw that. Oh, I also brought this cream bronzer, the Makeup by Mario one, the Soft Scope Sculpt. I fell in love with this this trip. So I really have enjoyed the Tower 28. I've kind of used these interchangeably. 
they're both honestly kind of similar, but I really like the Makeup by Mario one too. I brought the Tower 28 Beach Please uh, Cream Blush in Magic Hour. I honestly only used that once, but it really is so pretty. And then lips wise, I also brought, I think I showed you yeah, all of those, but I also brought uh, the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in Cheeky. It is my number one lip color, <laughs> period. I just, I love it so much, I wear it all the time. So I think that is every thing other than like my brushes, but yeah, there you go. And if you're curious on the brushes I brought, I brought the BK Beauty 111. I love the BK Beauty brushes. I do have a 10% off code. I'll put that info and stuff down below. The BK Beauty 113 I've used for concealer every time and I just cannot stop using it for concealer. I brought the 205 for eyeshadow and the, uh, this is like my most used, the 201. It's just like a classic eyeshadow brush. Then I brought the Sephora 55 for um, powder. I brought the, oh no, Sigma F64. Whoa, I didn't even know I still had a Sigma brush. That's awesome. I use this all the time. I guess I've just never really looked at it. But this one I love for uh, the, the Bare Minerals powder concealer, you know? And then my Haley's brush that I use consistently. I get mine on Amazon um, because I have been sent some and then I bought some because I used them like crazy. And then this, I don't know if you can still get, it's the Zoeva 322, it's for brows, but this is what I use for lining. Like when I'm just kind of smudging out my eyeliner, it's my favorite. And then just an e.l.f. little duo brow thing to brush out the brows and that, is all that I brought, worked out well. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I love doing these get ready with me's in different places that we visit. If you do enjoy them, give it a thumbs up, let me know. Comment below with what is one makeup product that when you travel, every time you travel and you're packing your makeup bag, what is it that you bring? I'm so curious because I feel like there, I'm trying to think like, what would be that thing for me in here? What do I, no matter what, when I travel, I just always pack it. The Bare Minerals Concealer is almost always there. I'm trying to think what else. The e.l.f. Wow Brow is always in mine. I always have like a makeup removing pen. This one is old as could be. I'll link on Amazon uh, another version of this. That's the next one I bought because it has the makeup removing pen, but then there's refills on the back. This one had them too, but I've used them all. And it was from Maybelline and they don't make it anymore as far as I know. And now it's weirdly expensive. So there's another brand that's cheaper. I'll link, but this is a secret weapon because then you can clean up any messes you make or you want to like clean up your wing it's perfect but yeah elf wow brow is one i always bring i almost always have some version of the misha bb cream this is shade 21 it's especially with self tanner definitely a little light but this is just i just bought a new one because i'd gotten rid of all my old ones i'm like all right this one's a fresh one and it is something that it always looks good no matter what's going on with my skin it also has spf in it so it goes with me everywhere i also always have the mac painterly paint pot with me this is one that i i, I think i literally always travel with because again if it's a quick day and i'm throwing on a little bit i'll put this all over my eyes and it just evens everything out it looks nice and then i can just throw some mascara on and it looks a little more put together. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.